Well, there are a few ways you could look at this. You could say, hey, I really like the cartoon, so this bad game is disappointing. Or you could be like, uh, this is a game based on a cartoon, so this, this bad game is exactly what you'd expect. Or you could be a psychic. Alien. In which case, nanu nanu, but you already knew that. It's the Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown! So this is one of the many subpar licensed games published by THQ before the company went out of business. And you know, in retrospect, it's, it's really no wonder that happened. I mean, THQ's good games almost seem accidental now, given all the poor decisions they were making. And, and the bad games they were selling. Not even fairy godparents could change that fate. Least of all inept ones. Anyway, Shadow Showdown was released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2, Nintendo GameCube, and obviously the Game Boy Advance, which is what we're playing here. And frankly, it's, it's just another forgettable, nondescript, 2D GBA platformer. Some of the most boring level designs you can imagine. And gameplay so generic, it, it, it feels like a million other generic games. None of which you can even remember. Not even with fairy dust. I looked into it. Checks out. So he plays Timmy, who has a pair of fairy godparents, who are odd, hence the odd parents. See, it's a pun, so you know it's good. Timmy can move left and right, he can jump, it's a platformer. The game's distinguishing feature is that it's about magic, which is awesome. Clap your hands, you must believe in magic! So you can use the fairies with the shoulder buttons. Pressing R lets you control one that can cast spells. You can turn your enemies into anvils, which comes in handy for platforming. You can freeze them, you know, tell them to chill out. And the other one casts spells on Timmy. You can turn him into a light bulb to kill shadow monsters. You know, just like real life. Actually, the magic tricks are kind of fun, but as a whole, the rest of the game's never that much fun. That's mostly for two reasons. One, the level design's really stale and boring, and what good ideas it does have, it ends up ruining them through repetition. And two, it's the game mechanics themselves. Shadow Showdown just doesn't have the sharpness or precision you want from a platformer. But you know, to be honest, it, it might not be fair to call this a bad game. I mean, it's certainly not a good game, but it's probably not a bad one either. In fact, that's the problem. This game leaves absolutely no impression on you whatsoever. You forget about this game as you're playing it. It's that bland and generic. Of course, Shadow Showdown also has more objective problems, not the least of which is bad hit detection, which makes stomping enemies a bit of a chore. The game also uses passwords for its save system, which... I mean, to, to even call it a system seems generous at that point. I, I suppose really young players might enjoy this. I mean, there's some humor, there's recognizable characters, but at the same time, it, don't kids deserve good games too? Like, when I was a kid, licensed games were awesome sometimes. Ninja Turtles, Capcom's Disney games, Goldeneye. They were a lot better than the fairly odd parents, Shadow Showdown. Turns out not even magic can change that. Thank you. 